Evan, there's a lot that's been said about advertising and the way the whole world is shaping up. And a large chunk of your revenue comes from advertising. Equally, performance advertising as a concept is something that's kind of created a lot of interest and buzz. What is your own view on that? And how do you see that playing out as a business model for Snap for the next few years? Well, I think performance advertising is an essential part of any business strategy for growth. And I think that's because it allows people to reach their customers in a personalized way with the assistance of artificial intelligence, which we just spoke about. And so it's becoming more and more efficient to reach your customers using performance advertising, which is helping businesses achieve uh, really incredible growth in a way that wasn't possible before with brand advertising that wasn't as personalized uh, to, to uh, the audience that was viewing it. So to me, this explosion in personalized advertising is really helping smaller businesses compete in a way that they never could before. When large advertisers are the only businesses that can afford to advertise at scale and advertise with brand advertising, whether that's on television or newspapers, it's harder for small businesses to find their customers and to grow. And so performance advertising has been just a vital tool for small business to achieve uh, their goals. And that to me is one of the reasons why it's so exciting uh, to be expanding our advertising offering here uh, in India and helping support the growth of the economy. Uh, Evan, you know, Snap is also being talked about as somebody or a company which will revolutionize or is revolutionizing social media in general because it opens to a camera as we, we've often discussed. Uh, what do you think are the key differentiators? Now we have proliferation of social media tools across the world, right? Um, uh, you know, you have a short video and various other uh, formats. Now what is in your sense the key differentiator for Snap? When Bobby and I first started working on Snapchat, we wanted to make something that was different than social media. We felt a lot of pressure on social media because everything is posted forever, it's public, there's all this pressure from public likes and comments. And so sometimes social media feels like a popularity contest where you need to look pretty or cool or perfect to get attention. And Bobby and I just wanted a way to communicate and have fun together with our friends. And so when we built Snapchat, of course, we opened it to the camera, as you mentioned, but we also made sure that there weren't public likes and comments and that the content just goes away. So people feel comfortable reinventing themselves. They can be someone new tomorrow and not have the baggage uh, you know, of years and years and years of everything they posted, uh, you know, collected forever. And so I think that's felt really empowering uh, for people as, as a way to express themselves. And it's felt much more familiar, like the way that we communicate every day with our friends. We don't record every conversation we have with our friends when we're hanging out with them. And so I think making conversation online much more similar to real world conversation is one of the reasons why people love Snapchat. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.